Lakeview students and staff, welcome back to school. This here is Principal Otterson and my assistant principal. Britta. Britta, who do you have here with us today? Paige. Paige, who's Paige? Mm, my fourth grade buddy. Your fourth grade buddy, Paige, whose class are you in? Miss Punchacar. Miss Punchacar, well congratulations because I asked Britta. I said, Britta, you can bring a friend if you want to to announcements and she's picked you. <laughs> so you two must be pretty good friends. Well, I'm glad that you're here today. Today is Thursday, January 19th. It is cycle day, day two. I think we're going to have some snow today, don't you too? Yes. I think we are. A couple of quick announcements. Again, staying off those snow hills. Make sure you wear your lanyards. Paige, you wearing your lanyard? Um, not right now, but I took it off because my teacher tells us to take it off after we do lunch. Ah, so that's okay. So then you don't lose it. That's okay. You, how many do you have? Two. Two, yeah. So oh, that's good. Thanks for wearing it. And I understand why you're not wearing yours. So today, you told me, Britta, that somebody probably wasn't so kind on the bus. What, what happened on the bus today? Someone said a bad word. Someone said a bad word. How did you handle it? Did you do anything about it? Mm, I told you. You told me. That's awesome. Paige, what else could she have done? You could have used your words and told them to stop, and if they kept going, you could tell the bus driver. Perfect. So, boys and girls, remember that. If someone's not being very kind, you can always use your words to tell them, I don't appreciate that. And then if they keep doing it, make sure that you let somebody know. In Otter News, got a good, good one for a change that a student taught me a long time ago. You have a brother, don't you? Yes. Do you have a brother, Paige? No, I have a sister. You have a sister. Well, this one is for all of you that have brothers out there. It says, stick up for your brother. Do you stick up for your brother, Britta? Mm, not really. More, no. he sticks up for me. He does? Wow, that's pretty kind, too. So you could say, stick up for your sister, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, when it comes down to it, we take care of each other, don't we? Even though sometimes we don't always like each other, right, Britta? Yep. We still take care of each other, correct? Mm. That's right. Huh? Not really. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got my joke. We're, now, what what sound do a sh does a sheep make? I don't know. Do you know, Paige? Bah. 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 That's a, that's a sheep sound. <laughs> so where do sheep go to get haircuts? I don't know. To the bah, bah shop. <laughs> That was pretty good, wasn't it, Britta? Mm, not really. All right, we are LV Pride. We are positive, responsible, involved, determined, and equitable. I look forward to seeing your greatness today. Happy New Year, Lakeview students. This is Vinny. And this is Lexi. What is your favorite winter activity? Ice fishing. What is your favorite winter activity? I like skiing. Lunch today is, is taco in a bag, choice two, brunch box. The word of the week is serene. Serene is calm and peaceful. For example, the serene music from the piano player filled the room. The Good Citizen topic of the week is I follow the ideas of great Americans like Martha Luther King. I show LV pride when I am thoughtful in ways I speak to others and words I choose to use. Happy birthday to George. The weather is Thursday, a high of 28, a low of 15. Friday, a high of 21 and a low of 14. Saturday, a high of 28 and a low of 15. When it's cold outside, you need all five. Hat, mittens, coat, snow pants, and boots. If you are looking for a good book, I recommend Jack Blasts Off. In this book, Jack and Rex go to space, eat lots of stuff, and plant and plants his flag on the moon. If you are looking for a good book, I recommend See the Cat. This silly book actually has three stories about a dog. Read more in this book. Announcements. Please do not play on the tall snow mountains. They are very tall and we don't want you to fall down. Only use your iPad for school use only. That means school websites, school homework, school projects, and school emails. If you have questions, ask your teacher or Miss Ma'am. Uh, many students are testing, so please be quiet in the halls and bring your iPad each day. Many students are testing. Please be quiet in the halls. Today, your class will have the chance to vote for the back and front of the yearbooks. 
I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to read, 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 and take time to be kind. Please charge your iPad every night and stay tuned to this short video. Bye! Simple ways to keep the library clean. Always use a shelf marker to know where your book will go if you don't like it. If you see a book prop down, pick it up. Make sure you clean up after yourself. Make sure to tuck in your chair. When you put a book back, make sure the spine is showing. If you take a book out and all of them fall, make sure you prop them back up. Make sure you're listening for your teacher to tell you to come check out. It's time to check out. Barcode facing up. If you forgot your book, grab one of these and start reading right away. Once you've checked out your book, go and read right away. Make sure to use a zero or one voice.